This is CBSE and CRE Solutions Class 10th Chapter 13th Surface Areas and Volumes Exercise 13.3 Question number 2 The problem is metallic spheres of radii 6 cm, 8 cm and 10 cm respectively are melted to form a single solid sphere. Find the radius of the resulting sphere. So we can start our solution from uh, assuming that let radius of first sphere is equal to r1 is equal to 6 cm and let radius of second sphere is equal to r2 and it is given that it is equal to uh, 8 cm and let radius of third sphere is equal to r3 and it is given equal to 10 cm and let radius of resulting sphere is equal to r cm now it is given to us that all these three spheres are melted to form this big sphere so it means that sum of the volumes of first second and third sphere is equal to volume of the resulting sphere so according to this given condition we can write that volume of first sphere would be equal to 4 divided by 3 pi r 1 cube because this is the formula that we use to find the volume of sphere and the volume of second sphere would be equal to 4 divided by 3 pi r2 cube and the volume of third sphere would be equal to 4 divided by 3 pi r3 cube and sum of all these volumes would be equal to volume of that resulting sphere 4 divided by 3 pi r cube from here I can take 4 divided by 3 pi common from the left hand side and I will get r1 cube plus r2 cube plus r3 cube in the brackets and I get 4 divided by 3 pi r cube on the right hand side. I can cancel this 4 divided by 3 pi and 4 divided by 3 pi from both the sides. So I get here r1 cube plus r2 cube plus r3 cube equal to r cube. Now I can put the values of r1, r2 and r3 here so we can get the value of r. The value of r1 is 6, r2 is 8 centimeter and r3 is 10 centimeter. So 6 cube plus 8 cube plus 10 cube is equal to r cube. So I get here r cube is equal to 6 cube is equal to 216 and 8 cube is equal to 512 and 10 cube is equal to 1000 and 216 plus 512 plus 1000 is equal to 1728 so the value of r would be the cube root of 1728 so if we take cube root on both the sides the value of r uh, comes up equal to 12 centimeters so that would be the radius of the resulting sphere so that's about question number 2 for chapter 13 surface areas and volumes exercise 13.3 in the next video we will be covering question number 3 see you guys thank you